guys welcome back okay so as you read by the title today i am playing in this beach cosmetics beautiful in barcelona eyeshadow palette this is one of their travel series eyeshadow palettes that i just fell in love with when i saw it so i picked it up from ulta and yeah i wanted to play in this now if you watch most or all of my videos you know that i just did a video comparing this palette here with this nabla dreamy 2 eyeshadow palette i did kind of feel like these two palettes were somewhat similar so i was very curious as to how they would swatch next to each other seeing as how this is a 35 dollars palette and this is a 16 dollars palette both of which i purchased from ulta so if you'd like to check that out see swatches of both of these and just kind of watch a quick little impromptu video comparing how these two palettes look swatched, then make sure you check that out, okay? You might wanna check that out first and then come back and watch this, but make sure you come back to watch this, okay? So yeah, I just was kinda perusing through my palettes and when I looked at these two palettes, I thought they were similar, so I did that. But after swatching this palette, oh my gosh, you guys, I fell in love with it. I was like, that is so pretty. And for BH Cosmetics, the swatches were really, really nice. So this is what this palette looks like up close. You can take a look and kind of see the color story and color scheme for this palette. Very, very pretty, very nice, warm, earthy palette. And of course, you guys know the blues in here caught my attention. These gorgeous, deep rustic earthy shades the burgundy deep burnt orange and the blues and this shade here really really surprised me it's kind of like a black and green combination and so when i saw that swatched i was like i've got to get that on my eyes so of course you can see i played with that today along with some of the other warm burgundy and rustic shades to create this look and I will say, spoiler alert, I like this palette, but if you are interested and would like to see how I created this kind of green, black, and burgundy smoky eye today, very simple, very easy, you guys. <laughs> and then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, guys, so I'm starting out this look with the shade Carnation. And this shade is basically like a deep burnt orange so I'm just taking a pointed blender brush and placing that in my crease and just blowing it out throughout my lid space. So as you can see, this color is showing up very nicely. It applied very easily and it's blending out without any problems. I think this is a beautiful transition shade. Next, I'm going in with the shade Spain. And this is like a dark burgundy shade kind of like a wine colored shadow and i'm taking another pointed blending brush and just making sure that i use that to deepen that crease area as you can see i'm just kind of going in and placing it on top of that burnt orange but not going quite as high with this darker shade just to make sure that my crease is nice and deep now I wanted to add a nice base for the smoky eye. So I'm just taking some of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And as you can see, I'm just dabbing it on. And I'm using a dense uh, shader brush to just tap that cut crease canvas all over my lid space. Just the mobile lid area, not going up too high, but I wanna make sure it's a nice even base. Now I'm going into this gorgeous black and green glitter shadow, which is Flamenco. And I'm taking a flat shader brush and just gently placing that all over my mobile lid area. And of course, I'm being careful because there is glitter in this. So if you wanna use a glitter glue, you can. I chose not to. I'm just gently placing it down and I really didn't get too much glitter fallout. I just had a few specks on my cheek that I brushed away. 
Now I'm just going in making sure that crease area is nice and blended. And this is what the look is coming out to be so far. I really like it. Now for my lower lash line, I'm just using my black L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me pencil liner. And I really like this eyeliner, you guys. It's nice and smooth, stays put all day. So I'm just using that to um, define the lower lash line. Now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into the shade Spain and just taking a smaller dense brush to blend that out right next to my lashes on my lower lash line just to smoke it out and add that extra bit of smokiness to this lower lash line and also to make it uniform with the upper portion of my eye. As you can see, these colors are very nicely pigmented. I really like how this look is turning out. Next, I'm going into this really light shimmer shade. It's kind of like a champagne color, cross between a champagne and a gold. I did spray my brush when I went in the first time, and then the second time I went in dry, and it really, really created a nice pop for that inner corner for this smoky eye. As you can see, I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. And for my lower lash line, I'm actually using my Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara. For my lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. It's just a nice, beautiful brown shade. And I'm topping my lips off with my Fenty Hot Chocolate Lip Gloss. Just a nice, simple lip for this bold, smoky eye. And so this is what this eye look <laughs> turned out to be. I really like it. As you guys see, it was very, very easy to do. Not anything difficult or complicated, but it's perfect for like a holiday uh, event or a date night or just, hey, if you want to wear it to go to Walmart, knock yourself out. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, hit like. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!